Hello everyone. Okay, so I'm going to share this to my other pages so no one misses out. So I'm gonna share it to my personal page, which is Rhea Coleman. So make sure that you are following me there. And then I'm also gonna share it to my beauty group, which is called Beauty by Rhea Hope. So be sure that you are following there as well. There we go. All right. So how's everyone doing? All right, so like my description said, we are going to be doing a hair tutorial designed for family photos or a photo shoot, or if you're just gonna be on camera or for holidays. Um, so I'm going to post the shopping link right here in the comments so you can find everything I'm about to use right there, which I'm gonna pin. So everything is referenced right there and it's on major sale, so be sure to check that out. Um, and yeah, we'll get started. So I am going to first do a brush my hair. So this is called the Flexi Brush by Lange, of course. Major discount right here, pinned in the comments. So what I like to do is brush my hair. So this is actually the same brush that my hairstylist, is, hairstylist uses. I love making sure that I'm using like really good products. So I'm just going to brush that on through my hair. So we're on like day three or four of like dirty hair. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get all the volume even with dirty hair. So first thing I'm gonna do is take the Menage, um, the Menage Oil, 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 Oil Hydrating Mist. This I love because it's gonna add moisture to my hair. It also has a UV protectant. So if we're gonna be out about in the sun um, or applying heat, this is gonna help to protect our hair. So we're just gonna mist our hair with that guy. And I do that um, when I get out of the shower. And I also do that anytime I, before I put on any heat on my hair and it really feels like it protects it um, and like prepares it for like being out and about. So I just kind of like will massage that through my hair. So now, as you can probably tell, my hair looks a little greasy today. Uh, just because we're on like day three or four, whatever. <laughs> and we're gonna use this guy. This is the Deja Vu Dry Shampoo. This is by far, hands down, my favorite dry shampoo that I've ever tried. It's so, so good. And I love that it doesn't like turn my hair any color. It just absorbs any of that natural oil. So like I said about getting all the volume, this helps get all the volume so well. So not only is it going to absorb any of those natural oils from your hair, but it's also going to add so much volume. I love it. So I spray it at the root and then I'll just kind of like tossle and massage it into my hair. So I'll just use this on most of like my like heavy parts just like that. And you can already see how much more fuller our hair looks. So again, that was the Deja Vu dry shampoo and it's so, so good. I love it. Love, love, love. All right, so now that we have begun, begunning, now that we have started, let's just stick with that started, the volume, now we're gonna do all the curls. So like I said, we're gonna be doing a hair trail for like family photos or photo shoot or holidays. So when I take pictures, I like my hair to look a little more va va voom or during the holidays. It just helps you like stand out, especially against the camera. The camera always, it's so mean, always makes your hair look so flat. You're like, I had all the volume and all the curls. Why didn't it pick it up? So you wanna go, you wanna do it more voluminous and more curls than you probably would do on an everyday basis. So just keep that in mind. So what I like to do is I will start back here in this back section. And now I'm using the Lorev flat iron. I love this for curling my hair because of the round plates. You get like gorgeous curls. Um, I'm using it on the temperature 270. So I might even like turn that down to 250 because if you ha are platinum like I am, you don't wanna apply too hot of heat um, because it will kind of split your hair. So just keep that in mind. Try to go with the lowest heat that you can with any hair type. But if you're doing it on your hair and you're noticing that um, the curls aren't staying or you're doing it and you're like, okay, I, there's no curl, turn up the heat a little bit. So kind of find where your like sweet spot is on your curls. So, okay. So we're gonna start back here on this side. And I just very slowly and very intentionally do each curl. So turning and then turn downward and I'll just kind of assist with the curl on the shorter hairs. There's no problem with helping your hair do what you want it to do. You can't expect it to do everything by itself. So always brush your fingers through your hair and then we're just going to twist and pull downward and again, help, help those little hairs out. 
I know, I love Lange, it's so good. So I actually am starting to prefer the Minage over the Heat Shield. Um, I just feel like it does like two in one. It gives me my UV protection, but also is hydrating. So I personally have been liking that one better for me. Yes, I do have layers. I have a lot of layers. <laughs> I've been growing out my hair over the last few months. I used to have a super short pixie cut and I found that with growing it out, I'm like constantly having to trim it so it does grow. Um, so I do have a lot of layers, yes, to answer your question. So again, we're just gonna move out here in the front. So when I'm doing my curls, I like to do it in like the same direction. Like see how I'm twisting like towards my face the same way. So now that I've done that, now I'm gonna go back through on this upper layer and I'm just going to kind of randomly select sections like this and now I'm going to twist in the opposite direction for these top layers it's going to give the appearance of like fuller curls and I don't do a lot I'll just do like randomly like that and it's going to kind of help my curls like stand outward Same thing back here. And now another thing to keep in mind for your curls, if you're struggling with your curls like sticking out too much, um, technique goes into play with that a lot. So make sure that here, I'll show you an example. So if you are doing it like this, if you're taking it, you're curling it, and then you're pulling like outward, look how like outward that curl is. Versus, I'll do it on this one versus taking it, curling it, and then pulling downward. See how it goes down? So I hear that pretty frequently. Like my hair, my curls are like going out and looks crazy. So make sure how you're like twisting your wrist really goes into play. So now for this top layer, we're just going to start twisting and just kind of create some false volume. And then same here on the back side. Always make sure that you're kind of running your fingers through your hair if you're feeling that it's like twisted or like all messed up. You want your hair to be going in the same one direction or else you're gonna fry it. Because if your hair is all like crinkled or twisted or whatever and then you apply heat on top of that, it's you're not helping. <laughs> you're not helping your hair. So same thing. And now I have like pretty short layers in the back. So my curls are more like bends, <laughs> but it just adds texture and you're very rarely being photographed from the back of your head unless you're doing like a walk away shot. So you don't have to be like too crazy on it. Or the sink and the compact. Oh yeah, you're gonna love those Angie. Oh my gosh. I always trim my hair every, like once a month I go in and I do my roots and I trim. Because to grow your hair out, trimming is key. And if you guys live in San Diego or near San Diego, I can refer you to my girl. She does my um, cut and color. She bleaches and tones and has her own formula. And no, she doesn't share it because then you wouldn't go to her. <laughs> so make sure that you uh, hit her up. Her name is Hannah and her Instagram handle, you should check it out. It's so, she's incredible with color. Her name is Hannah Disconnected on Instagram. You guys, you're gonna be blown away. She specializes in color and she does the coolest stuff to people's hair. <laughs> I'm not as brave to put like pink in my hair. I feel like I'm, I don't know, a little too boring for that. <laughs> but she does really cool stuff. All right, so now that we've done this side, so look at how much more volume we had. And I love that I have like a few pieces that are kind of turned outward, just kind of like building this out. So now same thing on this side. We'll start here in the back. And again, always make sure that your hair is like brushed. Does your hair on the top have a lot of breakage from coloring? So it's called like a, what do they call it? The bleach cut. So because I do go so often, I do always kind of, not always, but I will run into breakage from like over bleaching it like too many times, like too close together. Um, so that's on me. <laughs> so don't get, get your hair done too often. <laughs> I mean, you can go like every six weeks. There was a moment there where we were traveling a lot. So I went in every like three and a half, which was too much. Even sh my hairstylist was like, no. Stay away, I can't, we shouldn't do this, but I made her, so it's my bad. But we are, I love that these products just like help rebuild so quickly and so easily, so I wasn't even like worried about it. I like saw it, I'm like, eh, it'll grow back in like a day. <laughs> Not a day, it's being exaggerating, but you guys get it. 
All right, so now that we've worked like towards the back, now we'll slowly start to like pull this hair forward and then just kind of randomly grab little one inch sections. And again, make sure that you are going through like this and twisting away, just like that. Yes, I will turn around for you guys to see the back, I promise. And again, on this side of my hair, I do the same exact thing where I work in the same direction. And then I'll go back through and I'll kind of uh, retwist hairs like different ways to get it to really kind of uh, like pop. But I start with the same one direction. Your appliteer came in? Oh my gosh, you're gonna love it. It's so good. Okay, so same thing. And I'll just kind of work randomly. I find that when I work kind of randomly throughout my hair, I get like those messy curls, which I really like. Very voluminous curls. Same thing. It's going very good. Thanks, Steph. All right. That's so good. I love these little bouncy curls. If you guys haven't snagged these products yet, definitely do so. They have a tendency to sell out very, very quickly. So highly encourage you guys to snag them like today if you haven't. With all of the sales going on, like it's just a matter of time before things start selling out really quickly. So make sure that you snag them. Thank you, Susan. I actually went live and I did this makeup look on my Facebook. So if you wanna see how I did it, I also was keeping in mind like a family photo shoot holidays. Um, so this is, I show you guys how to like get a really bold contour, how to get like a really pretty smoky eye-ish. It's not too smoky, but I wanted it to be something that like will draw the attention from the camera to your skin. So I show you how to look really glowy on camera. So if you haven't checked out the tutorial, definitely do so, it's on my page. So if you go to Rhea Coleman or Rhea Hope, you'll see it on there. I know the straightener is the best. I love it. If your hair is like really hard to curl or it just does not hold the curl, the Larev is definitely the one to, one to grab. The titanium plates really, really help get that curl. All right, so because I have like these shorter hairs that I'm trying to grow, I'm not gonna apply any heat to them at all. So that's why I really love the dry shampoo because it's gonna help that volume and I'll just kind of like mix them in with the hair that's already kind of longer. Um, and then I'll just kind of go through and I'll fluff and then I'll see if there's like any hairs that need like a bigger curl. So like with this guy right here, I'm gonna straighten out that curl and then I'm just going to maybe hold it a little bit longer and a little bit tighter, just like that. And then fluff, isn't that pretty? Just get like very gorgeous curlies. All right, so now that we've done that, now I'm gonna go with my sea salt spray. This is gonna add like that PC texture to your hair. So if you're struggling with getting that like PC look, making it look like it's, I don't know, more voluminous and more PC, this will really, really help. It also is a texturizer and a hold. So it also is gonna help to hold all these little baby hairs in place. All right, so next thing is the Gentleman's Pomade. This is the best pomade I've ever used. I love it because it's clear, so you don't get like a chunk of white in your hair. It's for the entire family. It's technically for men, but women can obviously use it too. So what I do is I just kind of like tossle through my hair and through the curls, and then this is when I kind of position the curls where I want them. And same thing with the baby hairs. Just lay them all down. I'll just kind of pull at the pieces. And this, again, is gonna help with the PC look and the volume. All right, so once we've done that, now I'm gonna go with a Max Hold hairspray. It's my favorite hairspray because it gives incredible hold without like the crunch. So I'm gonna go through and just mist this over my hair just like that. It's at our earring, so we give you the full look. And I'll kind of wait a moment for my hair to really kind of, um, not settle down, but for the products to kind of dry. And then I'll go back through just to make sure it's like absolutely perfect. So this is what I do when I am preparing for like a photo shoot or for family photos. I'll get fully ready, do my hair, and then I'll go back and look and make sure that all my curls are exactly where I want them. Cause sometimes with putting product on, it can make a, a curl look like it's not as, like this, like this one right there. So I want that a little more curled actually. So I'm gonna go through and grab it. 
grab like all of this and then turn just like that same thing on this side I think all that looks really good I might take this piece right here put a curl Yes, the mint shampoo and conditioner is so incredible, especially if you have oily hair. All right, so now that we've done that, now I'm going to show you guys the full look. So, ta-da! We are photo ready. I love how, like, PC it looks. Isn't that pretty? I love it. All right, so here's the back. I didn't have a mirror to do this, so hopefully it looks okay. But yeah, that was the whole look. So if you guys need any recommendations on tools or hair products or what shampoo and conditioner to grab, if you guys have any questions at all, I am your girl. So make sure that you shoot me a message. Um, and my link is right here pinned in the comments. But if you're not sure if you're shopping with me um, for me to get the credit, just feel free to message me and I would love to send you the link. So if you guys have any questions or need any help or recommendations, you can always, always message me. Is a toning shampoo going to ever be back in stock? Yes, Joy, and I would keep checking back in because they're constantly restocking things as they come back in. Fluff the back, all right, good call. I always look in the mirror after I get off here because I usually do my hair like in the bathroom, so I have a little compact that I'm able to look at. Um, but thank you guys so much for being around and watching. If you guys haven't done so, make sure that you click that share button in the bottom left-hand corner. And then you can also turn on the live notification. So up here, these three little dots, you can click there and you can turn on live notifications. So you get alerted when I go live. So, um, so you don't miss a beat, go ahead and do that. Um, and then I'm gonna pop over on my Instagram right now to give you guys full outfit details. So be sure that you go follow me on Instagram. My name on there is Raya Hope, all one word. The temperature I usually veer towards is 250 to 270 for my flat iron for the Lorev. For the Appleteer, I usually use it on 280 to 300. So I hope that helps. But you can always message me and I can let you know. So hope you guys all have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.